Now that fallout from another type here also in London. Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan Markle's bombshell interview. 17 million Americans watched that interview, which finally aired in the UK last night. Oprah has just released a new clip. ABC's Deidre Bolton has the story. Were you silent or were you silenced? The latter. And late last night, Oprah releasing a new portion of the interview where Meghan discusses the invasion of privacy she experienced after marrying into the family. If you're at work and you have a photograph of your child on your desk and your coworker says, oh my gosh, your kid's so cute, that's fantastic. Can I see your phone so I can see all the pictures of your child? You go, no, this is the picture I'm comfortable sharing with you. In the interview, the couple detailed explosive allegations against the family, including conversations about how dark their baby's skin color would be. About how dark your baby is going to be? Potentially, and what that would mean or look like. Ooh. It's still unknown who made the alleged comments, but Prince Harry told Oprah after the interview it was not the Queen or Prince Philip. This morning, reports from London say the palace is reeling from the interview. The Guardian with the headline, Palace in Crisis Following Devastating Racism Claim. The royal editor for ITV News writing the couple had effectively loaded up a B-52 bomber, flew it over Buckingham Palace, and then unloaded their arsenal right above it. But some longtime royal watchers and much of the British public are coming to the monarchy's defense. I really don't see the point of insulting a 94-year-old woman and her family, the rest of her family, and leaving unsavory, um, was unsavory um, remarks about racism. But this morning, many critics say the interview is a scathing assessment of the royal family in these changing times that could rock the monarchy for years to come. The institution that is the royal family has in the, in the past number of years, be found wanting, be found to be out of touch with its own people. It's not just Buckingham Palace taking heat after the interview, the British press is too. The Society of British News Editors released a statement saying, quote, the UK media is not bigoted. Deirdre Bolton, ABC News, New York. And then just hours ago, Buckingham Palace finally broke its silence about the tell-all interview in a, re a statement reading here in part, the issues raised, particularly that of race, are concerning. While some recollections may vary, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately, the palace said. Harry, Meghan, and Archie will always be much-loved family members.